I am so over this mambo twist hair. Over it. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. Let me start from the beginning. So, y'all, I don't know if you all know, but the mambo twist hair comes like this. Okay? The hair comes like this. I got it in the 12 inch. So, I have to, I remember, I have to let y'all know my story. So, I got it in the 12 inch. I installed it. I saw a video with a girl. Her name is Sedora Paris, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying it wrong. She's the bomb, though. Um, so, she installed it. I didn't want it to have the actual twist. So she installed it and then right after she installed it like this, she unraveled it so it gave it like a twist out look and I loved it. So I went and I was like, I'm going to do the same thing. So I got uh, five packs of hair in the number 33 because they didn't have a 1B. So I was like, you know what? I'm feeling risky. I want that little reddish color. I'm going to get all five packs in a number 33. I put the twist in and then I unraveled it. Y'all, 48 hours later, I had like a bird's nest in the back of my head. It was tangled. It was horrible. Now, I've heard before, and some of you may have experienced it as well, with synthetic hair, if, you're, if you get a color and you get the whole pack in that color, sometimes it will get tangled. Like the texture of the hair completely changes versus getting like a 1, a 2, or a 1B. So, again, I got the number 33. I did not like it. But then my makeup artist, she installed hers with a 1B and hers looked great. So I was like, what's wrong with mine? Maybe because it was a 33. So I said, I'm going to give it another try because I love the look. I love the twist and I love the twist out look. So I'm going to try it again. So I went back to the store. They did not have the Mambo Twist Janet Jackson collection. They had this one. They had this one which is the Senegal Two Times Bantu Twist, 100% kana uh, Kanakalon and Toyokalon. And it's a 1B. Let me show you what it looks like. So I got this one. And this one, of course, is 24 inches. So I said, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to get two packs. And I think I got that idea from Taste Pink. I don't know what her name is. I'm so sorry. But um, I got that idea from her because she did it on a, uh, she made a, a wig, a crochet wig with that hair with, using only two packs. It's texting me. I'm trying to do a video. Okay. So, yeah. So, it came like this. I snipped it at the top. That little hook. I clipped it. And then unraveled the twist like that, which brought me to this point. So this is the actual twist cut in half. And then I bent it over and crocheted it in my hair like, no, actually I did not crochet it in my hair like this. I split the piece apart. So you see that? Everything was going fine. So I had two pieces. So I installed two packs of the 24 inch, just like this, in my hair. I crocheted it all over my hair. Girl, hotmess.com. I was like, okay, my hair looks wild. Like, it looked like this, but bigger. This is a half wig. This is not it. This actually is what I wanted that to look like. But, yeah, it was like Diana Ross, but, like, on steroids. It was crazy. So, I did a braid out. So, I braided it, and then I put a, a gray flex rod at the end of the braid. I had, like, 12 braids in my hair. Put a gray flex rod, dipped it in hot water, unraveled it. It was cute, and I rocked it, but it got so tangled and matted up. So the next day, I braided it again, dipped it in hot water. It looked better. No, actually, I brushed it out, braided it, put the flex rod, dipped it in hot water, loosed it out. Again, epic fail. I'm going somewhere with this because YouTube videos will have you looking crazy sometimes. Like, why my hair didn't come out like this? So uh, I left the hair so you all can see what it looks like. This is after a one week install. I want y'all to see this nappy mess of a hair. Like it's just, I can't even, do y'all see? This was crocheted in my head. Y'all, this was in my head. It's actually in my hair right now. I had to cut it out and because I only had the, my 
crochet in for a week. I'm like, I'm not about to do all that. So I cut it right at the tip. So I still have the crochets in there. If I were to t this is a half wig. So if I was to take this half wig off, you would actually see. See, that's where half wigs come in handy. When you mess up your crochet here, you can put a half wig on. Nobody knows. So yeah, this. So I give the Mambo Twist hair a one. I wasted money. I wasted time, energy. I'm not trying it again. I'm over it. I mean, I love the style and other people have success with it, but that's just the name of the game. It's it's about trying things. Maybe it didn't work for me. It worked for somebody else. I don't know if it'll work for you, but for me, I'm not doing the Mambo Twist. I don't like the Mambo Twist hair. I do not support Mambo Twist hair. It gave me a headache. I love the look and I love other people's, but it's just not for me. So that's my review on the Mambo Twist hair. Um... Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this helps. Um, if you're, There's other videos on there, but what I've found with some people that do reviews, they say that the hair does frizz up. And I know from firsthand from my, buying the number 33 and, of course, buying the 1B, even though this is a different brand, it does frizz up, frizz up and get nappy. But you know what's the 1 Pro? It's so easy to install. Like, it pulls apart beautifully. You put it in. It looks great. But 24 hours later... Honey, it's not worth it. If you want a one-day style, go for it. <laughs> but it is not worth it unless I can find a product of somebody knows a product to put on it. But I'm not trying it again. So that's my review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and join me because I got a lot more stuff coming up. See you soon.